Hello, so I'm just going to show you a project that I'm working on. This is an Arduino microcontroller and uh, what I'm going to solve working on is replacing the brains, the controls of a dryer, clothes dryer. So if we look here at the clothes dryer, um, we have uh, a, a temperature control here. I'm going to continue to use that. And then we have this intelligent dry sensor, a wet, damp, and dry LED. And there's also controls to turn off the dryer if it becomes dry. Then there's a chime, turn on and off a chime when it's done, it'll beep at you when it's done. I'm actually going to repurpose this as my power. Then here's the other spot which is the uh, the control knob. Uh, you set it to a different setting, you pull the knob and then it starts. So this is where it initially failed. You push down on this knob and then you turn it to where you want and then you pull it out towards you and then it starts the the, the dryer cycle. Um, so two problems happened, happened with this. One, you pulled the knob and nothing happened. And two, the motor inside there was not moving. Um, the other problem is back here, this circuit board behind this intelligent dry is, is blown up. But I'm going to continue to use, I'm going to cut out the circuit uh, for the, the LEDs. Or I, rather, I'm going to have some LEDs behind her still that still show the wet, damp, and dry. Now, the parts for this dryer, the part for this controller, and this right here start at $175. Now I can buy a new dryer for probably not much more than that. And I started thinking, what would happen? I wonder if I can build a replacement to this with a microcontroller. And so I'm going to demonstrate what I have built so far. Uh, so here, this is a simulation. Um, and uh, this, I'm bu I've built it here on my circuit board, um, this breadboard, uh, to simulate how it's actually going to work once I build the circuit. So now, the next step after this demonstration is I'm going to start ordering the rest of the parts. I've got some of them on the way. And I'll wait for all my parts to show up. And then I will build it. Now I'm going to build them on a circuit board, and they're going to be behind the controls here um, and now let me show you so for instance uh, I'm using little buttons here and you can see there's a couple of buttons so as you turn this off let me just unplug this I'm, I, I'm plugging it into my computer right now but let's just see how long it takes to boot up the well, as soon as I plug this in here and the programs ready to go it defaults at a 30 here on this display so I have an up button, a down button, a start button, and then over here I have a, a light that's simulating the drum run, running, meaning that the motor turns on, and that turns the drum and blows the fan to blow the air through. This is to simulate the heater circuit being on. And then right here, let's pay attention only to these three LEDs. This is simulating the wet sensor, or the set, uh, the wet display and sensor, because I will add controls to say, if, if the, the load is dry before the time runs out, then shut everything down. But anyway, there's wet, damp, and dry. Ignore those two over here. All right, so motor, heat, wet, damp, and dry. Now, and I also have a control on my screen which I'm going to show as well, but um, for debugging. So, when you boot it up, you get 30 minutes display on your control, and I can reset that default that. I'm cycling from 10 to 90. So, at the top, this button going down, from the top of 90 down to 10, and this one takes you up. All right, so, and then when I'm ready to go, 
it will just I'll just press this button. Now I will make a comment here before I show the display which is I am doing my debugging in seconds. So what's going to happen um, is that I'm going to press the start button. It's going to turn on the, the drum, pause for five seconds, and then turn on the heater and then it'll start counting. When in reality when I, I'm doing this for real It'll pause for five seconds, but then the time will be moving into minutes. All right, so I've got 40. Start. You see the drum turned on. It's going to pause for five seconds, turn on the heater, and then it starts to count. Now we have, it's saying that it's dry. So I'm going to switch to damp with my fingers. So it's switched to damp. Now I'm going to switch to wet. Back to damp and then dry. And this is the this is the the sensor out of the dryer. Okay, so when it gets down to five minutes, it's going to turn the heater off. And then at zero it's gonna turn the drum off, the motor, and then we go to zero, and then that cycles through telling you that it's done. 10 times and then it's completely done. We'll see that in a second. Good. Now if I want to rerun I just reset. And I will have on the display rather I'm going to have here so I'll have power, I'll have a reset button, up, down and start. And then I'm going to put my, I'm going to rip this out and put my my lights in there. It's a, lot, a fun project. It's it's been a lot of fun. So next step is to build it, build the real thing.